everyone. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. It is time for a multi-day adventure here at Lone Wolf Mountain. Right now, it's chilly. It's about 38 degrees. I'm inside of the tent. I have everything set up. Also, I processed enough wood for the night. Over the next couple of days, the weather is going to be interesting. Honestly, I have no idea what is going to happen. Right now it's clear out, chilly, but they say by morning it could be snowing, so who knows. If it snows, it's not going to snow. <laughs> There's no way. I'll be, if it snows, I'll be super surprised. I really will. I came out early this afternoon, set everything up, and basically I've just been working since then, getting everything together, processing some wood and whatnot. It is a beautiful evening here at Lone Wolf Mountain, and I am beat. Inside of this tent, it has gotta be, I don't know, 75? <laughs> it is almost hot in here. For this trip, I am using the One Tigress Iron Wall Tent. And also, I have the One Tigress wood burning stove. This recently hit the market, and this is my first trip out with it. And in fact, this may be the only trip out with it until it cools down again. We are super lucky to have this cold snap so we can actually do this trip. The next couple of days, it's gonna be nice and chilly. Tomorrow the high is around 47, and I think tomorrow night the low is around 37, something like that. Now the big question mark for this trip is the weather as far as precipitation goes. Some sources say it's going to begin raining by morning, some say it's going to snow, some say that it's gonna rain all day tomorrow, some say it's not going to. I mean, I have no idea what's going to happen. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, this really is an up in the air trip. But folks, I'm tired. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I'm going to bed. I will see you all in the morning. Let's see if it's going to snow or rain or whatever. <laughs> I, I don't know, I have no idea. But uh, good night for now. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Yeah, it's about 8.30. Slept good last night. And it just got done raining. Not snowing, raining. It's misting right now. It's not too bad, not too heavy. But um, right before it stopped, it was actually coming down pretty good. I'm on a little bit of a slope. So before I went to bed last night, I got a stick and I dug a little trench around the front of the tent at the highest point so that any rain would go off the tent into that trench and away from the tent instead of coming inside of the tent. And that has worked well. God, I just stoked the fire. Feels good in here. As you all can hear, it is windy. It is really, really windy. That's a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is that it will dry out all the wood. The bad thing is it makes it cold. <laughs> With my tent set up here, I stake this out down at the bottom close to the ground so not much air can come through but I have it higher on the other side. There's a good balance here. Like I'm not freezing because of the air being blown but at the same time I'm not roasting to death either. I do have good ventilation. According to my phone it is 36 degrees and it felt like it when I stepped out this morning. I think the first order of business is coffee. It is definitely coffee time folks. What a mess it is out there. It is cold and windy. Like, 
really windy. The winds are blowing right around 30 miles an hour. It does make me wonder, what are we going to get into today? Got the chair set up next to the stove. Feels good in here, it does. The water is done, and now it is coffee time. As soon as I have coffee, I'll come up with a plan. What to do today. It might be one of those things where I'm just hunkering inside of the tent. I mean, you all can hear it. It is raging out there. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I just put some water on for breakfast. Until it's ready, it is coffee time. Oh yeah, that is good. I did a combination of coffees here. Some Thai coffee from Thailand, I guess. And um, something else. <laughs> what did I mix in this? Uh, let's see, Mount Hagen coffee. Both of these have come from viewers. Thank you both so much, I appreciate it. I'm upping my coffee game by mixing two together. I'm bringing countries together, folks. That's what I do. <laughs> this is not the first time that I've done a hot tent adventure inside of this tent. I did one maybe two years ago, something like that. I like this tent. It does a great job. The thing is, it's really small. It is really, really small. Once you get the stove in here, your bed, there's simply not much space left over. You may have noticed my stove jack, homemade. I may have left my stove jack on another tent. That's okay, I compromised and I made one. A little bit of duct tape, some tin foil, gets the job done perfectly. Let's see, folks, what should I have for breakfast? This sounds pretty good. Buttermilk biscuits and sausage gravy. One thing that I love about having a stove inside of your tent is that you could just have hot water on tap anytime you want it. Let's take a look at the weather, folks. Let's see how oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> High wind warning in effect for today, up until 9 p.m. tonight. It says that this afternoon there will be a period of sustained winds of 30 miles per hour with gusts over 50. I'll tell you what everyone, when it comes to wind, you really have to play it safe. We're pretty deep into the forest here. We're surrounded by trees, so we will have to play this by ear. All I know is that at the moment it's raining, coffee's good, and breakfast is almost ready. I have a bowl, I might as well use it. <laughs> I don't have to be a caveman all the time, I guess. Here we go. Biscuits and gravy from Outdoor Pantry. The gravy is amazing. Mm, that is the best biscuits and gravy I've ever had. Out in the woods, that is the best. Oh my God, that's freaking awesome. If you like biscuits and gravy, I recommend trying that out. If you like nasty combinations of coffee, I recommend this. <laughs> so I stepped outside of the tent here just to gauge the conditions, and it is miserable. It's damp, it's super windy. With the wind, it's actually fairly cold.
I cannot stand staying inside of that tent all day. I have to get out. So I'm going to rebuild this table. In a previous bushcraft adventure, I built this. And that was a few years ago. It's weathered, it's broken down. The frame is not bad, but it needs better supports and it needs a really good top. So that is my goal for today. This is bank line and it is incredibly strong stuff, ultra durable. It will last outside for years and years and a little bit goes a long way. I could use the entire strand, but that would be wasteful. It is incredibly windy everyone. Looks like it's going to rain again. Hopefully that's not the case. Woo! It is raining everyone. I tell you what everyone, being out in the forest building is so much fun. I've mentioned this before, but it's good for the inner wolf. It really is. Gosh, those winds are really picking up. Some of those wind gusts are hitting 40, 45 miles an hour already. It is windy out there. And also, it is hot in here. Let's turn this thing down just a little bit. I had to get out of that wind for just a minute. It is really rocking and rolling out there. I put up some more guy lines because the winds are just, they're insane. It's insane out there. It's so windy that I'm not sure if I could do any more filming out there, really. Right now, easy 45 miles an hour. It's a good excuse to have lunch anyways, so. Let's get something going. Let's see what I have here, folks. So, creamy pasta with pork. That sounds freaking awesome. I also have pad thai with noodles. That sounds really good too. I think I will have this for dinner tonight, but for lunch, I am going with the real turmat creamy pasta with pork. <laughs> I have a message here from Susie and she says it's time to go to the eye doctor. It's time for me to go to the eye doctor. And 
That's funny because it reminds me of the last time I was there, which was roughly a year ago. When I was younger, you would call someone socially awkward. I'm past that point. I've spent so much time in the woods by myself, away from people, that oftentimes my social interactions are very strange <laughs> and weird. I'm not sure how to take things sometimes. Picture this, I'm at the eye doctor and you know, he's doing his thing, whatever. First off, I don't like being there. I don't like being at any doctor's office. I'm uncomfortable and uh, he asked me, who did my hair? Nobody has ever asked me who has done this. <laughs> Maybe they might have asked like, who has done this to you? But not who has done your hair? I couldn't even comprehend what that meant. So I said, nature? I had no idea how else to respond. Nature did this to me. So, um, and he gave me this look like I'm the biggest jerk in the entire world. So we finish up with the eye exam, I'm about to leave. And then it kind of dawns on me, maybe he asked me like where I got it cut at. And uh, usually I do this to myself, folks. Those are the type of interactions that I have with people, which is kind of funny. I have to know, am I the only socially awkward person or are there others like me out there? <laughs> Comment down below. To touch upon gear once more that I'm using for this trip, the Iron Wall One Tigress tent, the One Tigress stove. I have a cot over here. This is the Alps Mountaineering cot. Very inexpensive. I'm using the One Tigress folding chair, and I also have the Sundick folding table. It's a terrible name, I know. On the ground, I have a large green canvas tarp. Anytime that I'm doing a hot tent adventure, I like to have a canvas tarp on the ground. That way I can kneel on it, I can move around, and I don't have to worry about getting wet or even muddy. I can stay dry. When you're inside of such a small space, it's really, really important and it's nice to have. Cheers, everyone, cheers. It is raining outside. Not heavy, but it is peppering it down just a little bit. Folks, my table is done and it turned out awesome. It's incredibly flat. It's very substantial, very sturdy. This turned out very, very good. What a chore this has been. <laughs> Not only is it super windy, but it just keeps raining. So I've been inside of this tent hunkering down, I mean, for hours. I didn't even film it all because I'd come out, work, go inside, come back out, go back inside. So a project that should have taken a few hours has taken all day long because of the wind and the rain. There is one test that we have to do. It's the coffee cup test. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. For the last 30 minutes or so, I've been hiding out inside of the tent here. It's been raining a little bit. I figured before it gets dark, I better process some wood here. Luckily, I have a pretty good pile. All of it's really dry, so that's good.
Well folks, evening has come. I've been busy. I got the table set up, processed a bunch of firewood. It's been raining off and on the entire day, even this evening. I just checked the weather forecast and it says that the winds are going to die down tonight. There may be gusts up to 30 miles an hour, but already it is substantially better. I mean, today was ferocious as far as winds go, but yeah. Uh, let's see. It sounds like there is a good chance of rain by morning. Maybe some snow, just like this morning, so we shall see. For dinner tonight, I am having the pad thai thing. Sustainable plant-based protein. Sustainable, huh? Do you know how many resources went into making just this, including petroleum products? I'm not sure if that's really sustainable or not. It's very much like the debate between gas vehicles and EVs or electric vehicles. Anybody who thinks that an EV is sustainable or that like it is cleaner for the environment, that's not true. Not at all. Do you know what it takes to make a battery? <laughs> Do you know how many batteries are in those vehicles? Then consider all of the energy that's required to charge those things. Hmm. Smells interesting, folks. Let's give it a shot. Now this stuff smells like peanut butter. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give this a shot. A viewer sent this in. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Let's see. I have no idea really what to expect here. It is very good. So it says this is made with plant-based protein. It's not bad. It is not bad at all. As far as the temperature outside, I'd say it's around 45 degrees. It's getting chilly. Inside of this tent, it's gotta be 80. <laughs> it's incredibly warm, it feels great. The truth is, I've had a lot of fun today. Even though it was cold, it was windy, it was wet, it was still a lot of fun. That table turned out great. It's substantial and it will last a while. The one thing about being in the outdoors is that you will constantly have to improvise. Sometimes you'll forget something or you're building something and you have to change your plans or you're setting up your tent and you have to change your plans because of whatever reason. You're constantly going to be improvising. That's why it's important to have certain items just in case. For an example, this piece of tin foil saved my butt as far as the stove jack. This has worked incredibly well. I've stayed dry in here even when it was raining. And that's a very lightweight, very small piece of kit that you can carry with you. And it has so many different purposes. It could solve so many different problems. And the same applies for like a piece of wire. Let's say that it was super windy. If there is a risk that the pipe was going to touch the side of your tent and melt it, what would you do? If you took cordage and wrapped it around the pipe, it would melt. But if you took wire, wrapped it around there and then tied cordage to that wire, you could do it. That is just an example of how sometimes the smallest of item could be the most important. Talking about improvising here for a second, what is the most MacGyver thing you've ever done in the backcountry or out on a camping trip? <laughs> I cannot wait to hear your stories. The plan is pretty simple, folks. I'm going to clean up camp, get ready for bed. I'm going to take this water and go a pretty good distance away couple hundred yards and pour this out. This is black bear country. We have a lot of black bears here and I'm not gonna take any chances for my own safety as well as theirs. The fire has been fed. It's been stoked. It's funny folks, having the cold air on my back, the warmth on the front, that reminds me a lot of my childhood. I've mentioned this before, but like, um, we were super poor and like the only room that was heated was the living room We would oftentimes like heat up a brick on the stove and put it in a sock and we would run off to our rooms Our bedrooms were below freezing if you had like a, a cup of water or something like that It would freeze we would get our bricks take off to our rooms hop inside This would be my brick I'd put it inside my blanket. And I'd cover up just like this. Oh Man, that was so much fun <laughs> It sounds miserable, but it was the best sleep you've ever had. I'm pretty sure my bed was like six inches of blankets. That's so funny. Did I get you folks? Oh man. Good morning everybody, good morning. 
Well, last night was awesome. I slept great. I should say this, I slept great considering I was inside of a hot tent. I mean, you have to get up every couple of hours and feed the stove. Speaking of which, the stove is still warm, but it's not hot. And I'm pretty much out of firewood, so <laughs> that worked well. Um, it's not all that cold this morning, really. Definitely not as cold as yesterday, but it is wetter. It poured last night. I mean, off and on, it poured. Everything on the outside is soaking wet. Luckily, inside of the tent here, everything is nice and dry. Being inside of a hot tent this small is like playing adult Tetris. I am constantly shifting things around, moving things over here so I can get over there and do stuff. It is a chore. So check this out, everyone. If you saw last week's adventure, then you've seen this already. This is the Espit solid fuel stove. I almost said wood stove. <laughs> but the handle pops out. You have the lid on top, which can also be a windscreen. And these are the large fire cubes. They were created specifically for this stove. You can see how big those cubes are. So this is the burner plate. This goes on top. Last week, I didn't use all of the fire cubes, so I'll finish it off. This is hexamine, by the way. And boy, does this stuff stink. Something about this smells like shrimp, and it is awful. I like shrimp, but I don't want to smell it all the time. This little stove, it works fast. Today's coffee is a combination of Thai coffee and South Korean coffee. Cheers, folks. And it is delicious. That is really, really good. As you all can hear, the wind is back. It's not as strong as yesterday, but it's pretty strong. Everyone, that pretty much wraps it up for this adventure. I'm going to finish my breakfast, then pack up, get out. Make sure to hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel. Subscribe if you want to, support the channel if you want to. YouTube, Patreon, you can join the Wolf Pack. Everyone, take care, strength and honor. I will see you with the next upload. Also, comment down below and let me know what type of adventure that you want to see next time. Everyone, be well. See you soon.